Hi! Welcome to another video lecture that features one of the topics to be discussed to grade 8 students. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do hit the subscribe button to be updated to more video lectures that will be uploaded here. In this video lecture, I will share with you the lesson Visual Verbal Relationships which can be found in the learner's material for English 8. All rightful credits go to the writers of the material, its content, and examples. Are you familiar with infographics? Infographics are collections of imagery, charts, and minimal text that give easy-to-understand overview of topics. Look at these examples of infographics. See this infographic containing details of the 2019 National Budget. Let us analyze its content by answering these questions. Get ready to comment and write your answers in the comment section. Shall we start? First, how much was the total amount of the 2019 national budget? Can you easily identify the data? Let's see. If your answer is 3.662 trillion pesos, then, you are correct. It is shown right here. Next, was the 2019 national budget higher as compared to the budget for the preceding year, which is 2018? Write yes or no in the comment section. Okay, did you write yes? Then, you are correct, because 2019 national budget is 10.1% higher than its 2018 cash equivalent, and you can see it right here. Another, which sector had the highest allocation as per budget dimension? How about the lowest allocation as per budget dimension too? Write your answer in the comment section. Did you easily see the data from the infographic? What's your answer then? If you say that social services had the highest allocation and defense had the lowest allocation as per budget dimension by sector, then, you're definitely right. As shown in the figures, social services allocation is 37.6%, while defense's allocation is just 5.2% of the national budget. Let's analyze the infographic further. Which expense class had the highest allocation as per budget dimension? And how much was the allocation? Write your answer on the comment section now. Did you write maintenance and other operating expenses with budget allocation as 1,410.9 billion? Great! That's right! This time, which expense class had the lowest allocation as per budget dimension and how much was the allocation? Write your answers in the comment section. You must be correct with your answers. Yes, it's the financial expenses with 401 billion budget allocation. Good job! Now, how does this presentation of data help in understanding and classifying information? I am sure you found it easy to identify the information I am asking from you a while ago with the help of the graphics and figures presented in the infographic. The use of these visuals helps in understanding data or information. 
Without reading much the text, one may easily identify and classify the given information through visual presentations such as graphs and tables. In this lesson, you will come to know different visuals that you may use to present important information along with your expository text. Expository texts are designed to explain, inform, and present facts of specific topics. Examples of these visual elements include graphs, tables, maps, illustrations, and the like. Their primary function is to improve comprehension of a reading material. However, understanding graphic elements like those cited is an important aspect of comprehending text that some tend to skip. The concept of visual-verbal symbiosis is rooted in the idea that visuals support verbals, and vice versa. Dwyer found a symbiotic relationship between verbal and visual literacies when the two are combined to facilitate student achievement. First, we have graphs. These are diagrams showing the relation between variable quantities, typically of two variables, each measured along a pair of axes at right angles. Bar graphs show numbers that are independent of each other. Examples, number of people who preferred Chinese takeaways, Indian takeaways, and fish and chips. Graphs are further classified into bar graphs, line graphs, pictograph or pictogram, and pie graph. Let's get to know each of them. Line graphs show you how numbers have changed over time. It usually has continuous data along a vertical y-axis and horizontal x-axis dimensions. The y-axis usually shows the value of whatever variable being measured. The x-axis commonly presents when it was measured, either chronologically or based on other independent variables. A pictograph or pictogram is a special type of bar graph. Instead of using an axis with numbers, it uses pictures to represent a particular number of items. A pie graph or pie chart shows you how a whole number is divided into different parts. Example, showing how a budget had been spent on different items in a particular year. Next, we have tables. A table also known as matrix refers to an orderly arranged quantitative data in columns and rows. Then we have maps. A map refers to collection of data showing the spatial arrangement or distribution of something over an area. We also have captioned graphics. Caption graphics provide a title, short explanation or description accompanying an illustration or a photograph. Finally, we have flowchart. A flowchart shows the sequence of movements or actions of people or things involved in a complex system or activity. So there you have it. You just got to know that graphs tables, maps, captioned graphics, photographs, and flowcharts are useful visual elements to support information or expository text. So next time, instead of simply writing factual details, you may want to add any of these useful visual presentations so your readers may understand better the information.